I'm Ranger Erin, and today we are wondering about four-leaf clover. Clover is a type of plant that is very common around lawns and fields. In every single lawn and field you'll come across, you'll find at least one patch of clover, probably many patches of clover. But most of our clover only has three leaves. But there are some variations, and some of them will have four leaves, or even five or six leaves. But those are very rare. Now, rare means that it's not easily found. The opposite of that is common. So the three-leaf clover is very common, but the four-leaf clover is very rare. And that's where we get the folklore that finding a four-leaf clover will bring you good luck, because it's hard to find. So folklore is just kind of a story that's gonna be passed down from generation to generation, and sometimes it's true, and sometimes it's just meant for fun. So you can decide about whether this one's true or whether it's just meant for fun. But this folklore, where if you find a four-leaf clover, it'll bring you good luck, this one is about 150 years old. So even if it's not true, it's very, very neat. How rare is a four-leaf clover? Well, believe it or not, but scientists have actually studied this, and they have found that for every one four-leaf clover you find, there are 5,000 three-leaf clover. And those five and six-leaf clovers that I said, those are gonna be even rarer. So you may have to look a little bit before you can find that four-leaf clover. Here are some examples of some four-leaf clover that we have found and pressed. So that's something that you can do if you do happen to find a four-leaf clover or two. Our clover, like I said, is very common, and that means that it's gonna be important in our habitats. So our clover, those blooms, when it makes little white or pink flowers, they are gonna be good food for our bees and our butterflies and other pollinators in the spring and in the summer when they start to bloom. Uh, the leaves themselves are very tasty for many of our herbivores like rabbits and deer and groundhogs, and even some omnivores like red fox will love to eat some of those clover leaves. And then in the fall, it's gonna make little seeds which some of our songbirds are gonna enjoy. So a nice important part of our habitat that we might not think about too much, um, but it's nice to know that it's there. So for today's outside activity, I'm gonna ask you to find a nice patch of lawn and you can set up a picnic. And instead of going on a hike, you are gonna find a patch of clover and start looking to see if you can find a four leaf clover. And you might have to count a few of them. Spend at least five to 10 minutes looking and see if you can find a little good luck today. Here's a little patch of three leaf clover. It's not a very big plant but it is a very cute plant. So again, most of the time you're gonna see three leaves and you might see a little pattern on them. And then if you're lucky, you might even see some blooms out there or maybe some new growth. And you will have to look closely because sometimes those four leaves are hard to tell apart amongst all the three leaves. While you're out at your picnic, maybe you also start to think of making your own folklore. So you can make up a nice story about how to get good luck. Start to think about some other rare things that you see or notice in your life. So you can make up your own story, you can turn it into a picture, or you can even write a few sentences about your folklore. In our indoor craft, we're gonna play around with a little bit of printmaking with an apple. You're gonna need a knife, definitely ask your parents for help with that. A cutting board, green paint, and I added a little bit of yellow for fun, a paintbrush, and then some paper. So starting off, we're gonna cut this apple right down the middle. And it kind of has that shape of one leaf of clover. And we're gonna use that to print make. Just dipping the apple in your paint. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You're gonna make one, two, three, and then if you want this to be a lucky one, you give it four leaves. You can add more if you like. I 
Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next time.